What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range today. I got some super nice weather going on. I don't think it's supposed to be real hot today, so we ought to be able to get in plenty of jelly testing. As always, we got the jelly contraption out here. We got the chrono set up. I got two freshly melted blocks of gel, like I said. This is gonna be the first test in them, so we should be able to see what happens really good. We starting out with what most people would consider the smallest effective round for self-defense, and that's the 32 ACP. I got two different Underwood loaded rounds here. They're basically the same thing. They're both extreme defenders but one of them is standard pressure one of them is plus p now i'll go ahead and talk about the tool at the same time on this one we're going to be using the beretta 3032 tomcat it's got a two and three quarter inch barrel now beretta says don't use ammo that produces over 130 foot pounds of energy in this little tomcat so what we got here is this 32 uh standard pressure uh that was well under i want to say that was like 110 110 or so something around in there but now this 32 plus p if it truly moves at that 1050 feet per second that gives you 135 foot pounds of energy so that's five over what beretta wants you to run in this thing now if it truly does reach that velocity and gives me five more i'm perfectly fine with that uh you know you're not talking about running a steady diet of this stuff through it so five more pounds over i'll take whatever kind of risk come with that uh but what i think is actually going to happen is this is not going to go 1050 feet per second so as long as we see i did some calculations if we see 1030 feet per second that's actually right 130 foot pounds right on the dot so 1030 foot per second and even this plus p is below what beretta recommends but anyway we'll sort that out some more when we get to it i'm very curious to see how these 32 acps perform i think being that they're the extreme defenders uh i hate to say it even guess but i think we might get the adequate penetration i'm not sure though let me get all this stuff set up and let's find out out. All right, y'all, let's get some speeds from these things. I'm gonna do a three round average with each round and see what kind of speeds we run. And I don't know if I mentioned these are 55 grain projectiles. So uh, I'm gonna start out with the standard pressure first. This is on the box saying 950 feet per second. So be interesting to see if we actually get that. I don't really think that we will, but let's find out. Nine oh five. 948 and 939 so we're right there at it with those second two shots that last one was a little low let's go down there and check the average out all right so the three round average from the standard pressure was 930 feet per second honestly that's a little faster than i thought it was going to be moving so i'm pretty surprised at that let me get this reset and let's try the plus p's all right y'all let's check out these plus p's and see what they're doing uh also wanted to mention i'm definitely happy to see that these things are cycling without a problem i haven't ran any of these at all until now and i was kind of worried because of the sharp edge on that projectile but they're cycling no problem so let's see what three of these plus p's will give us down there y'all 1050 1017 and 1,030, so we got one at the advertised velocity, the rest of them were under, so let's go down there and check that average out. All right, y'all, so our three round average with the plus P is 1,032 feet per second. So that's right there at that 130 foot pounds of energy that uh, Beretta doesn't want you to go over with this Tomcat. Now we did have one that was right at 1,050, which would have gave us five over, but like I said, to me, if this right here is perfect for this little Tomcat if you're gonna carry this thing. Uh, I would feel plenty safe with the pressures and the and the energy running out of this tomcat that we're getting right here today but anyway like i said we got 1032 on the plus p and if you remember off the standard it was 930 so you're talking about 102 feet per second faster off of that plus p so that's 10 percent. i would call that a significant difference so that plus p is definitely kicking it up a notch let me get all this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's pocket power jelly time and we'll put one round of each down into the gel we're going to start out with the standard pressure first and see what we can get out these little things 9.50. All right, look like a good clean hit. Let me go down there and make sure we're good. 9.50. All right, y'all, that's looking perfect down there in the gel, and I'm actually pretty surprised at how well that is looking, to be honest with you. But let's try this plus P and see what this gives us. I'd like to put this above it, but it's probably safe just to go up underneath it. 
All right, that definitely went below. I hope it didn't get too low. Let's go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised by these results. These did a whole lot better than I was expecting them to do. So this top one, that's the standard pressure round. As you see, it comes in pretty nice wound channel right there, carries on out here. Now it tumbled around backwards somewhere along the lines because the projectile sitting here backwards, it got pretty nice penetration. It looks like that's out there about 13, 14 inches or so. So really impressive performance out of that one. And then of course, down here with the plus P on the bottom, even better performance comes in nice wound channel nice disruption just like the standard pressure uh, i'll give you all some different angles so you can see it's got all this disruption just like the other one did it also turned around backwards somewhere because it's sitting down here tumbled backwards and it looks like it got about an inch and a half or so more penetration than the standard pressure so this is actually pretty impressive from both of these in my opinion now as far as penetration on them the standard pressure is sitting out here at 13 and 3 quarters of an inch of penetration the plus p is sitting out here at 15 and a quarter so very very nice penetration actually out of both of these rounds just a quick look from above this top one that's the standard pressure the one on the bottom is the plus p so as you can see both of them pretty doggone nice wound channels to be a 32 acp all right, y'all, there's probably no real reason to, but I went ahead and pulled these projectiles just to look at them, get some measurements. So as you can see, no kind of deformation, no expansion. Uh, obviously, these extreme defenders aren't meant to do that, but as you can see, they look exactly like they did loaded into the uh, case. Now, as far as weight on them, I don't think they lost anything. This one here, you're looking at exactly well 54.9 they started at 55 so 54.9 on that one 54.8 on this one so neither one of them lost any kind of material as far as measurement on them that's going to be pretty uneventful also it's just going to be whatever it started at basically so 311 311 again and 313 so like i said no kind of expansion obviously out of solid copper projectiles but there you have it y'all the underwood extreme defenders loaded in 32 auto like i said already these did a whole heck of a lot better than i expected them to they got excellent penetration wound channel looks really nice on both of them now the plus p definitely has some advantages and it's right there within that power threshold the beretta wants you to use out this tomcat so personally if I were going to use these, I wouldn't have any problem carrying the plus P now. The question is, would I use 32 auto? Uh, I mean, the answer there is just probably not because, you know, y'all know my feeling on pocket carry. I really don't, personally, I don't have a place for any kind of pocket carry. I can carry my nine millimeter everywhere I want to go in whatever I'm wearing. But as far as this being adequate in general, I mean, I would say it would get the job done if you put them in the right spot. All right, y'all, that right there is going to wrap it up for my first 32 auto jelly test. Like I already said, I was pretty surprised by the performance I saw out of these things. Now, granted, I did start out with probably the best choice you could make as far as the defensive round in this 32 auto with these extreme defenders. Um, I've got some critical defense, I think it is, which I haven't tested yet. I don't know if I even will unless y'all just really want me to test those because I feel like they're not going to get the penetration anywhere near it. So I don't know how good of a test it'll be, but I'll be glad to test them if y'all might be interested in seeing that but y'all let me know what y'all's thoughts are on these 32 auto extreme defenders were you satisfied with what you saw there or is 32 auto just too small of a round for you to go and use for self-defense let me know what your thoughts are down below if you did enjoy the video make sure to reach down and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload new videos check out my affiliate links down below in the video description you know the deal with the amazon if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first it goes straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel if you're in the market for some fantastic ear pro hit those axle affiliate links out you can save a pile of money going through those links instead of straight through their site i appreciate all my range gang members for hitting that join button and every single one of y'all out there that supports the channel by watching the videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and like i said leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about this 32 auto i got a long day of jelly testing planned for out here so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for some good stuff and in the meantime Time, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.